So it is not, as, as is often stated, that we are against something, that we are here to not believe in something. We believe in something passionately. And one beautiful articulation of that was Erasmus Darwin's poem of hope and labor and art working toward peace. That is a great heritage and a great set of values that we should exalt and that we should work toward. You know, in all of my jobs, including in my book, I have been involved in the nitty gritty, analyzing and working specific pieces of legislation, collaborating with people like you, organizing for causes at the grassroots level. I love that detail. I love strategy and policy. But I say let's take a moment to step back and to think about the ideals that really inspire us. Yugen is a Japanese word meaning a profound, mysterious sense of the beauty of the universe. And as wondrous as Yugen is, it's still not the most transcendent feeling that our species can achieve. There is a greater challenge. There is a higher pleasure that can only be met by first facing the world as it is. In this world, a few feel chosen by God to strap on the explosive and pull the cord or guide the plane that annihilates themselves and innocent people in Baghdad, in Pakistan, and the towers. A few more feel chosen by God to machete the other guy, the free thought blogger in Bangladesh, shoot the secular politician in Tunisia, blow up the post office in Oklahoma City. Thousands more feel chosen by God to embrace so-called faith healing, placing a cookie tray underneath their daughter's infected leg as the pus drains out. No doctors, please. We're chosen by God to hurt our child and to get politicians to pass laws that make it easier for us to do so. Now, there are millions upon millions of good, decent, honorable, religious people. Yet, it is also true that there are millions upon millions who feel chosen by God. Worse are taught that the so-called truth, the so-called truth is that the gay person is mutated. The woman shall be regulated and the child indoctrinated. God's alleged in-group, so certain, so lustful, for their holy law, actual laws, imposed on us all. Some laws from Mississippi to Maine, many laws from Cairo to Karachi. And meanwhile, my favorite god, Odin, got a pink slip. <laughs> and he's the god, my favorite. He gets my vote for best god. Go Mead. You know? but, but yet, there's no laws today in Odin's name. Not anymore. Pity poor Apollo and Ishtar, Quetzalcoatl shuffling their feet in the unemployment line, <laughs> with Odin and Isis and Axel Rose. <laughs> some of us, some of us doubt that fashionable gods are more credible than unfashionable gods. Some of us instead turn to people, people who question. Einstein, Voltaire, Jefferson. Now, reason, science, that wind blows wicked cold, we are warned, from the megachurch pulpit, from the mosques, from the U.S. House Science Committee. And yet, they're right. That wind does indeed bite. Your call, says the doctor to me, turn off my mother's motherboard. Her hardware failed, her software failed lit only by outside power. Pulling that plug, I saw no harps, no wings. White, I saw, yes. Clinical white hospital walls. Bone white cremation papers. We are all on the very same life raft on which my mother sank. Our children, we hope. Our parents, we hope, might be lucky with loved ones to talk to on that life raft. But that life raft is leaking, and there is no safe harbor. 
And facing this hard truth, reason and science lead us somewhere real and warm. More than 200,000 years of human history, but only 400 years since Francis Bacon, Bacon's treatise, his book, The New Method, The Rigorous Scientific Method. A mere 400 years out of 200,000, we are just limbering up. No more opposite sides of some mythological line, gay versus straight, Muslim versus Hindu, myth versus judgmental myth. Reason and science is a thread. We draw ourselves forward on that thread. Before you face white hospital walls, you face a blank white canvas. Paint, write, grow, bloom. So yes, love those children. Thank whose ever arm you can touch in bed. Yes, laugh. Yes, enjoy. Yes, be thankful. 200,000 years and we are here now. Revel in it. Human lifespan doubled. It's a wondrous time where science can fly if, if we draw ourselves forward on that bright thread. Old lines in the sand disappear. Us versus them, that's old tribe. Our tribe, today's tribe, has Darwin's evolutionary thread, Dawkins' genetic thread. Now we know. Our thread runs all the way back to cousin bonobos, to fish even, more family to me than some mega minister pounding his bully pulpit with anger and hatred. Our new tribe views from space our globe entire. We use our brain, the best computer, creating the brightest colors. Van Gogh, the Sydney Opera House, the Apollo mission, the Mayo Clinic, and Abbey Road. <laughs> so what's next? What's next for our species? Not the shadows, not the mythical cul-de-sac. Stand up, shoulders back in the sun. Whatever is you happens just once. So bring yourself out, all the way out. Art, science, Politics, yes, politics. The politics of reason and science, of evidence and compassion, for no compassion is real and no compassion honest unless we embrace evidence and modify our views and conclusions based upon that evidence with the goal of compassion and justice. And then work hard for those goals. Yes, work very hard. But we will also make of our politics a party the office party of reason and science, with drinks and making out in the supply closet. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up for reason and science, because tradition and dogma are bullies. We pursue the newest methods, the strongest solutions, the boldest plans, the highest ideals. And still always, with that, risk fun. Because yes, it is scary. It's scary. This, our one and only performance, beyond even Yugen, is the best feeling. Accomplish something. Improve our world. That's our greatest possible joy. Unleashed from dogma, we dance a jig carefree along the cliff's edge of time. Proud our dance is never hesitant, never cringing, offered boldly, honestly, joyfully, completely. So dig into the work, to, into the nitty gritty of the politics of reason and science because that goal, that mission is the most beautiful dance of all. Thank you very much.